Eric Hammer here, registered physiotherapist. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about one of my favorite exercises to give per, for patients who have a weak pelvic floor and a weak deep abdominal muscle referred to as your transverse abdominus. Um, so in a lot of cases these muscles when they're weak they will actually contribute to uh, lower back pain and to individuals overusing certain muscles such as their paraspinal muscles, which are the muscles that basically keep our back upright, um, as well as the hamstrings or the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle is essentially the muscle in the front of the hip or your hip flexor, uh, which actually attaches onto uh, the lower back. So when we've got weaknesses in some of these muscles that actually help to stabilize the pelvis, well, the body will compensate for that and will overuse certain muscles that will start to guard and actually create pain in these different areas, such as the lower back. So uh, again, one of my favorite exercises to do for people that have weaknesses, again, in the pelvic floor or the deep abdominal area, is I'll have a patient lie on their back in this position here. And essentially, I'll have the patient do what's referred to as a Kegel exercise. And basically, what you're going to do is think about bringing your belly button uh, in towards your spine, so you're hollowing your stomach. And then at the same time, it's that sort of that sensation of holding your urine, where basically you're going to, that's going to help to activate your pelvic floor. Now, you're going to combine those two movements. And as you do that, I'll have the patient lift one of the legs up and then while maintaining a neutral spine you want to lift up the other leg and again the key here is to keep your lower back completely neutral so in a lot of cases what patients will do is if they're weakened through here there's a tendency to hyperextend through the lower back so again we want to maintain as you're doing that kegel technique you want to maintain a neutral spine as you lift one leg up and then the other. And then to really progress, the key here is to actually try and extend out one of the legs while again the lower back is staying neutral. Slow and controlled movement. And then again, you would do the same actually on the other side. Slow and controlled. And as you can maybe see on the video, I'm starting to shake a little bit because this is quite a difficult exercise to do properly without compensating through the lower back. So again, the whole idea with this is to activate those muscles, add in a dynamic component that keeps the lower back neutral. And, and the reason that's so important is we wanna support the pelvis and allow the lower back to release and relax and not have to work so hard to stabilize the pelvis. Thanks again for watching, and again, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe, um, and please make sure as well to check with a physiotherapist to make sure that this is a, an appropriate exercise for you. Thanks again, and have a great day. Take care.